Welcome everyone, I'm Braden with EG4 Electronics and today I'm going to give you a quick start guide on the EG4 18 KPV on how to set up the Wi-Fi dongle and connect to the remote monitoring system. Let's get started. Alrighty, so once you have your Wi-Fi dongle inserted on the inverter, the first thing you want to do is go to your Wi-Fi connection, click on the name of the Wi-Fi dongle, mine is BA31205819, you'll connect to that. Then you will go to your browser, type 10.10.10.1, and that will allow you to connect to your Wi-Fi dongle. Now it'll default to Chinese, but you can click on English, and that'll take everything and translate it. You want to go down to Station Mode Setting. On SSID, you can either type in the name of your network or click Scan. You want to select the name of the network that you want to connect to, Click OK, and if you have a password for that Wi-Fi network, make sure your encryption mode is enabled. Type in the password of that Wi-Fi network, and then click Save. And it'll ask you whether you want to reboot the module to take effect. Click Yes. Your Wi-Fi dongle will turn off and turn back on, and then when it turns back on, all three lights will be on. Originally, you only had one light blinking and one light on, and then the other is off, all three will be on. When that happens, your Wi-Fi dongle will be set up. Alrighty, so once you have your Wi-Fi dongle connected to your local Wi-Fi, you want to go to monitor.eg4electronics.com, and it'll bring you to this page, which will click Register, and it'll pull you to this form. So you want to go ahead and fill out this form. The key things to include are your customer code, which will come from your distributor or installer, the dongle serial number and PIN, both of which are listed on the system, and then you want to give your station a name. So let me go ahead and fill out this form real quick. Alrighty, so once you've clicked register, then you want to go back to login page, and then you want to type in your username and password. Alrighty, so once you've logged in, you'll be greeted with a page full of the information on your system. So we currently don't have any PV wired up as well as any power going out, but we do have our batteries wired up and that gives us a nice state of charge as well as the voltage. We can even have some graphs for the energy overview and input output power. We can go to data tab and get nice views of various graphs. Again, we don't have any loads or PV going on, so the graphs are pretty flat and the system hasn't been on for a particularly long period of time, but you can see the historical data of the unit. You can see when I switched over from the lead acid battery settings to lithium with communications, and you can see the accuracy of the system improved dramatically. There's a lot of information that it'll give you in these tabs. It pulls that information about every five minutes or so. You can also go to the Configuration tab and see your stations. If you're an installer, this is extremely beneficial as it has very intuitive fleet management. You can add a station, give it a name, say Additional Station, give it a time zone, make sure you set the time that it was created, you can click Add. It'll take a moment to populate, so while we're doing that, we're going to go over to dongles. If you want to add another dongle, you're able to do so up here. You add the serial number and the pin, and then you can select which station you have. Currently, a test station uh, is the only one available. Additional station will be added momentarily. It does take a minute, but you would click on that, and you would log that under the station that you have available. You're also able to go to devices to see the connection types and a lot of the more in-depth information about the dongle. You could then go to maintenance tab, and this is where the real beauty shines. So you can actually adjust settings remotely that will be sent back to the inverter and changed. So some of the big ones could be if you're, say, away or you know, don't want to go up to your inverters to change these, 
you can change the forced discharge and forced charge start and stop times. So say you want to charge your inverter uh, late at night when the power is very, very cheap versus whenever it's evening time after you just got off work when the power rates are very high, you can actually set the discharge time to uh, discharge from the batteries at that point, which saves on that peak power. And say a storm is coming, you're actually able to go to your monitoring and start quick charge. Now this will pull charge from the grid to charge the batteries for an hour. So that's a really good way to prepare if you happen to get a weather notification for say a tornado, a thunderstorm, something where the power could potentially go out. It is a really good way to stock up on your batteries charged and not get caught off guard. EG4 has a lot of monitoring information available on their web app, but you can also access this information through EG4's phone app. Once you've downloaded EG4's monitoring app, you can log in with the same username and password that you set up on your computer. And as you can see, we have test station and additional station. So we want to go into test station since that's the one our actual dongle is set up with. And we'll see that it has all of the same useful information that the computer has. You're even able to do quick charge from the cell phone and change your system settings on the fly. EG4's phone app gives you a lot of valuable tools and it's going to be expanding even more in the future. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'm Braden with EG4 Electronics and I'll see you next time.